is a Bramble Jam podcast. It's Thursday, October 15th, and you should take the day off. ripped the whole studio down oh my gosh is everything still working the scooter's just in the shot now <laughs> take the day off everybody if you're watching on youtube our entire studio almost just collapsed just now i was trying to do the running man keep my pants from falling and watching brand destroy our life's work <laughs> we're good take the day we're off good. Might have to. Yeah. Are you just going to keep the old? Yeah. Really? I think it looks good there. It looks great. Yeah. yeah. Nobody's going to be annoyed What's by it that gonna, at all. Is it there? Hey, no. It's just in the big one. Yeah. A little handle. Well, that's what it means to me. That's what um, it means to you. <laughs> hey. Hey. Dan- Ashley. Daniel. We got a twofer? Dude, it's a twofer. Ashley Sampson. Daryl Jeffries. Congratulations, hey. everybody. Bramble Gym Plus. Um, boy, happy Thursday. Um, the question today. If you're a human. This is why I don't stand up with the, the dance. Yeah. I, I'm out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> we're in good shape here at Bramble Jam. Uh, I guess they were man. Getting, getting our own full pizzas to ourselves today for lunch. Um, we, yeah, we, talk about, we talk about lunch at 5 a.m. Give us a break. 5 a.m. We already planned out. We love our lunch. Thursday's pizza day. Guys, we, 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 plan, we, we plan pizza. We love our lunch here at Bramble Jam Podcast. That is we got Wing we Wednesday. We got Pizza Thursday. That's right. Yeah. We're you simple are. people. Simple people. It's Thursday. The question if you're a human being is this. Do I take today off? And if the answer is yes, then the question becomes, well, what's the point of Friday? And I'm here to tell you this. Mm, Just mm, mm. buckle yourself up and buckle it on. Don't up. don't even don't even try to act like you're like, oh, I don't know if I should do this. You should do this. You deserve this. You deserve a long, long weekend starting right now. Isn't that right, Dano? Oh, Isn't right that right? Now. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Four-day weekend starts right now. How about you squeeze yourself into Monday, too? Squeeze that sucker ahead. out of there. He's on a fiver. It's a five spot. No, and that was just, that was a premature bell. That was my fault. That was a premature bell. I was about to say. I thought someone signed up. It was yeah. just a, It was just an IM from a friend. Okay. Just an IM from just a friend. Just an IM. You, you got I, AIM up? I got AIM computer? up. Okay. I, I, and the AIM box looks suspiciously like the Bramble, the Bramble Jam, Jam box. Plus. Yeah, we designed it that way. Yes, sure. we designed it yeah, to yeah, look yeah, like yeah. AOL, Instant Messenger. Hey, Dan, uh, it's National Grab. Grouch Day, yeah. National Grouch Day. Uh, it is a day to to bring out your inner grouch. Uh, if you're somebody who is already grouchy, well, congratulations. This day is for you as well. Uh, Dan, last night I was watching um, Perry Mason, not the new one, the old the OG, new one's great. the OG Perry yeah. Mason, and uh, Perry was making a case. He was making a case. He was making someone look real shady. Real shady. Real shady. And this in, person wasn't shady. He was making him look real shady. He was shady. I mean, okay, Perry's Perry, Perry just painting the picture. You know, he's a good yeah, artist. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Perry, he's like, this guy was in that box on the seventeenth. And then, no, no, it's a, it's quite the case. Uh, and then, right in the middle of the argument, he said, and Dan knows about National Grouch Day. Really? Straight. Perry Mason wow. said it. Clear as day. Man. And so do you. Yeah, I do. All right. I do. Um, what is it? Bop it. Twist it. Pull it. Pull it. Yeah. Twi- th- th- bop it. it. Yeah. Yeah, you know the game bop oh, it. Oh, I do. Oh, man. Swept the nation when I was younger. You, could you bop it? Uh, I could. I could bop it. You okay. could bop it. I could bop it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it, I, it may surprise you to learn that bop it's initial intention was just to be grouchy. It was a way... To channel your anger into a device instead of causing damage to what is happening right now. Instead of causing... Just roll. Just roll, baby. Just roll, baby. There's a scooter in here. You're knocking down the set out of breath. Uh, So it was a way to control your anger, to to manage uh, what was happening. 
And so they designed, the guy who designed the game, Bob Deck, Bob designed the game not for a kid's game, but almost like a stress reliever. Uh, but it had different options. There was kick it, there was pump, punch it, there was pull it, there was cuss it. Those are the options. Cuss it? Yeah, and so you would go somewhere quiet, and you could kick the thing, you could punch it, you could pull it. And when it said cuss it, you could just scream out whatever you wanted. That's what you could do. And he believed that this would, would reduce stress, reduce anger, reduce grouchiness. Um, in early tests, people continually would get fired uh, because the, the cuss it turned into something it never meant to be. Um, what did it mean to be? Um, it meant to be a way to just kind of audibly relieve your anger, but it became a way to cuss out the person that was making you. Uh. Like, for instance, uh, Lola on 25th, you know Lola. Um, I, can't, I can't. Lola loves, I can't right look, now. Lola loves her pumpernickel bread. She loves it. It's in slices. She eats one slice every morning where Daryl stole Lola's bread and Lola had the kick it device, and she not only did she kick, punch, and pull him, she called him some stuff that we couldn't repeat on here, even if we tried. Um, Lola, got, <laughs> Lola got. You, you're telling, you're telling me, even if we tried, even we if we could? tried, You'll watch. I'll go ahead. I'll try it right now. Okay. <laughs> up, you. <laughs> but why? See, I couldn't even get it all the way out. I had to stop halfway through. My body stopped there. <laughs> right. Yeah. And now you have editing to do because mm -hmm. I tried. Yeah. To that do was that. on me. That yeah, was on me. It everybody. was completely on you. That was on me. But Lola tw on the 25th, she started there and it got worse, if you can believe it. I'm not going to ask you how. It could. <laughs> you could. You know what? I thought today, Dan, would be a day that if there was ever a day you could accidentally get it right it would be this day well what's funny is is that i'm not done with my story oh i'm sorry i'm sorry bob deck was very upset that uh, lola and others on 25th and other places so he changed it to a kid's game it sold a million and all he was left with was national grouch day that's the history it's not about oscar the grouch from sesame street it is about Oscar what? the Grouch from Sesame Town. Street. Uh, founded in 1976, this is a day to celebrate the Grouch's way of life, who is just a misunderstood guy. He's had a, he's had down on his luck. He's living in a trash can. He'd be grouchy too. To celebrate the Grouch's way of life, Sesame Street inspired a holiday all about Oscar the Grouch. Uh, it is National Grouch Day. Are you a big uh, Grouch fan? So I like Oscar the Grouch on Sesame Street. I also think that he... We may not, he chooses to be grouchy. Like he prefers to live in his he trash does. can. He prefers the trash. He's not grouchy because things haven't gone his way. That's even true. though sometimes he does that bit. This is the life Oscar the Grouch prefers. That's true. Yeah. And I'm, I'm a, I can be grumpy, but it's fun grumpy. Like I don't like ever, like I don't lose a, I sleep like a baby at night and I love my life, but it's fun. And to me, it helps me process to be overly critical about little things that most people would find petty. I think that's fun for me. It helps me. Brain. Yeah, it's fun for it's fun for all. Um, listen, today is about being grouchy. If you are somebody who's usually upbeat and you feel the pressure to you can't be grouchy or else people are gonna be like, What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Today's the day to let that all out. If you're somebody, you're you're a pessimist and you just can't get over it. You, everything's going to hell in a handbasket mm -hmm. and you're just like, whatever. You know what? Do you, baby. And Lola on 25th, listen, if you need to let some of those fly, just do it in the privacy of your own home. That's right. Because we can't even do We couldn't do it here if we tried. Well, we did try. And it <laughs> really bummed me out. <laughs> From an editing perspective, just from an the editing. words bother you. And, uh, well, both. I mean, I am about as squeaky clean as it comes, as they come, and so that hurt me. Lola, this is Lola on twenty fifth, and that's why I don't like Lola. Right. I've been trying to distance myself from her, and you bring her in here like this. Lola and her pumpernickel bread. It's not my fault. Gerald's McCaffrey. Thank you, Gerald's. Thank you, Gerald. Hey, we're gonna be right back. A question of the day is this: What's something that makes you uh, irrationally grumpy? Something that makes you irrationally grumpy. We're gonna get to that in just a second. But first, we gotta take a quick break. I'll be right back. Welcome back to Take the Day Off, everybody. Oh, Hope you're doing well. Oh man, I'm doing great. Yeah. 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 So fantastic. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, hey, it's National Grump Day, everybody. Uh, uh, take the day off is what you should do. Um, and take the day off is what you should uh, 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 accrue. I don't know. I don't know. You I was went sure. for it. I, I can did. Say that. I did. About that. Um, hey, uh, what is something that makes you irrationally grumpy? That's the question of the day. Mm. Dan, I want to know from you, what's something that makes you irrationally grumpy? You've ridden in the car with me before. I have. Um, and I don't. I don't think, like, it never bothers me after it's done, but bad drivers make me irrationally grumpy. Like, I, if I ever take a step back while I'm in the car, I'm realizing, man, like, I'm just being too tough on these people. But in the moment, it's like there's cl- a clear way to do things, and you're not doing those things, and it makes me grumpy. It, it's like, I mean, it doesn't ruin my day. It doesn't make my blood pressure go up. It's just like... Why? Why be in the left lane if you're going to drive under the speed limit? Why not get in the median to turn? Why not use a signal? Like, just basic things. Uh, and I think that's got to be near the top of my list. Yes. Uh, you know, I'm a pretty even keel uh, person. Uh, the one thing that does make me rationally grumpy is uh, is changed plans. Oh, yeah. Have a tough time. You get positively uh, flabbergasted yeah. if, we were, if th- this was the schedule and yes. then you're just like... Like even, and this is something that my sweet, sweet wife had to get used to. Like we would talk about like before church on Sunday, hey, where are we going to lunch? We'd get, we'd decide on something. Oh, and then afterwards she'd be like, or, you know, someone we were going with. Yeah. Maybe, uh, you know, what, what typically would happen is she would ask somebody to go to lunch with us and they would be like, let's go here. And she's like, are you cool with this? And I'd be like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with it. But I, but I was uh, noticeably uh, grumpy yeah, afterwards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, That's tough for you. Yes, it is tough for me. And Once um, you get your brain wrapped around the food you're going to eat, yes, it's tough it to really go in another direction. Very tough yeah. for me. Um, I used to think I was like that until I met you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Rena, I get this one too, Rena. Rena says people who don't provide all the information up front, Ooh, I can absolutely oh get behind my that. Gosh, yes. There, there are people who just like bring it, bring, like even people that prolong a story, if that makes sense, they're telling a story and it's just like, you're like, okay, this is yeah. good. And then you're just like, all okay, right, get to it. it. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Most of my grumpiness boils down to bad communication. When okay. people don't communicate well, non-verbally or verbally, it drives me bonkers so when i don't get all the information about something up front it's very difficult for me to make an informed decision on how i should act or what i should do next that bothers me to know it yes yes um i also understand this one emily emily says when i'm watching a show on demand on a service that streams with commercials like hulu cable channels whatever um but I missed the first bit coming back from commercial break. So I hit the 10 second rewind button, which takes me back like two seconds before the commercial break, because I don't know yeah. if it's been a full 10 seconds or not. And then it makes me watch the commercial set all over again. It's awful. I absolutely get that. And really Netflix is ruined. I, I yeah. just can't with the commercials. It's just tough. It's tough sled. Streaming TV has really, the hardest thing about it is, with direct TV or just a normal DVR, you could fast forward, watch it at, in, in, in the time that it's going and hit play and you could get it to where I could time it perfect every time. But streaming, you have to skip 10, 15 seconds at a time. Very, very difficult, very frustrating. Yeah, Totally understand that one for sure. Absolutely. Ba- Barbara says, being hungry, I can maintain my patience and calm through most things, but when I'm really hungry, watch out, I have no filter and no patience. You, so it's a classic hangry situation. I, I, I've been there. Uh, my wife's been there. My kids have been there. I think we've all at some point been there where we just need a little, need some, some nourishment is what we need. Totally understand that. Um, uh, Tiffany uh, has a slew of them. Uh, one, Looney Tune characters dressed in 90s hip hop clothing. What? <laughs> that is, man, that's a deep cut. Travel carnivals. Uh, I, I, l- know I how, look at them and see death. How in the world would you have time in a day to be grumpy about Looney Tunes characters dressed in a hip hop clothing from the nineties. That is, that's a deep, deep cut. Carnivals, I get. And then uh, multiple order offenders, uh, like if you are in line at a burrito shop and someone says, "Hey, I have like three orders." Oh, uh, yeah, I can get out that sheet of paper. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get that one, Tiffany. Gina, the Looney Tunes one, I, I think you're on your own on that one. Gina, Gina's speaking my heart right now. Long staff meetings that could have been five minutes. Listen, oh. I am just telling you, when I was a principal, my meetings for my faculty were, if this is something that can be handled over an email or only pertains to you, you may not say it right now. 
I could not deal with the, but what if in my classroom when the wind blows a certain degree, it gets a little too cold, and then I have couldn't do it. We, we can't do these staff meetings that could be handled over email. Some things need to be said in person. Most of it can be handled in a more efficient manner. Get busy living. Get busy dying. Do not waste my time in a two-hour meeting. Yeah. Don't do it. Um, Paige, I get this 100%. My middle school students practicing their TikTok dances silently oh. while I'm teaching. I don't, for the life of me, oh. understand TikTok dances. So someone posts on TikTok. Is that how you say it? TikTok. I don't know. Someone TikToks a dance, right? Yeah. And it's like, mm, mm, mm. and then everyone else just does it too. Everyone just post them doing the same dance i don't i don't understand it hey kids how about you freaking be creative for one second in your sad and lonely life wow they're just making fun of middle school kids they are sad they are lonely <laughs> i love middle schoolers they're great mm. they're, they're very funny they're very funny yeah good cover nice recovery for sure jessica says stupidity i sh i should be used to it by now but i just can't once again, 100% agree with that. I um, would pick middle school over high school. Yeah, as far as reeling it back in. No, beep, beep, the reason why I would is because beep. they're they they are sad and lonely kids. So yeah, they're, yeah. they're 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 they like, they're 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 funny they're funny kids. Yeah, but they're right, awkward. you just said that their lives were miserable and that they should try to be creative for once in their life because they're in their I sad and lonely life. I stand by all of that 100%. Right. But in the grand mm. scheme of student ministry, I would choose middle school over just high school. Just a little more sad than I thought we were. I'm sorry. Doing. It's, it's five and it's getting, I'm, sassy. I'm, I'm excited for pizza. Sassy brain. <laughs> sassy but classy. People who don't know the difference between your and your. Oh, uh, don't give me, no, grammar's a whole different world. That's not grumpy. That's just, just if you know how to speak the language, <laughs> speak the language. I don't, like that's, we're not even too grumpy with that. That's just, this is what it is. Uh, Samantha says when people cough in a quiet room. Samantha, I don't know what you, like Samantha. some people have to yeah. cough. I will say though, for Yo Gavel Gavel, you were watching a case last week. I wanted to see a little of it because because it sounded like a funny oh, one. Yeah. And so you pulled it up after the fact and someone just kept coughing. Yes, Did you notice it? Yeah. They just, for like, sure. <laughs> and you know, then it, coughing is like yawning too. Where it, sometimes it can get a little like, uh, like I saw, so I heard a cough. And so now I'm going to cough type thing. Have you noticed that? Like yeah, coughing yeah. is kind of yeah, contagious. Like, yeah, like yeah, yawning. Yeah. Pass, pass the cough along. Pass the cough. Pass mm. the cough. Pass the cough along. Um, old timey phrases that don't make sense. <laughs> Um, <laughs> things on counters, dry hands on dry paper towels. What? Dry hands Who on that. Uh, that's Shannon. Dry hands on dry paper towels. Who's doing that? Why? Who's I mean, doing that? Is it just a texture thing? That's not grumpy. That's just weird. Yeah. Sometimes you need to grab a paper towel to wipe something up off the floor. Your hands are dry. The paper towel is dry. Just part of it, you know. Uh, you know things that uh, kind of make you give you like. Do you, do you have things that make uh, give you the shivs? Things like, just that make, make you go. Who? Yeah. Yeah, you know, like you know, on the chalkboard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So for me, one of those things is you know tennis balls. I do know tennis balls. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I do, Brand. Like picking the uh, the green. <sighs> yeah, picking. I can't do that. It gives me the shivs. It gives you the shivs. It gives me the shivs. Hey, when you get the shivs. Yeah, exactly right. Guys, we did it, everybody. Congratulations. Hey, sorry for uh, the lull earlier. Yeah, sorry. Uh, and middle schoolers out there, keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a great job. Yep. <laughs> I just did a TikTok. Take the day off. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, question for you to be pondering um, as we get... Uh, it's Friday. Can you believe that's tomorrow? Tomorrow's oh, Friday. Friday already. Um, what is a word you like to sneak into sentences to seem smart? Ooh. Words that you like so to sneak many. into sentences to seem smart. I bet you have a list of ones you think that I use. I, I, don't, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Um, we're going to get to that tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of fun. Until then, we're going to leave with the Palahaku of the day. And we'll be back tomorrow with another reason to take the day Take the off. day off. I heard you talking, and the words you used were gross. Shame to ruin those looks. Have a great day, everyone. He heard you know, us a, talking. There's a deep message there. He heard us talking. Yeah, you can be all the pretty you want. Yes. But Which, as soon as you speak and that gutter talk comes out of your mouth, it doesn't matter. We're pretty. We're pretty. We're pretty. But we say gutter things. We do say gutter things. I got it from Lola. Lola. Yeah. That sleaze ball. Sleaze ball, Lola. And that's me being nice. Looking super nice. Produced, you know it. Bramble. Na, na, na. Ha.
Dude, it could have been a disa- disaster kind of day. Very good. One more, then we lunch. One more, then we lunch. Hey, hey, hey. One more, then, then we lunch. I gotta do One the more, thing. And then we lunch. One more, then we lunch. One more, then we lunch. Lunch, lunch. Gonna have a pizza. Gonna have a pizza. Gonna hop down a man old lady. I heard you talking, and the words you used were that gross. moment when life shamed the room punches looks you. right in the. Have a great day, everyone. That moment when life I heard you talking punches you right and in the, the words you used were gross, but you get back up. Have a great day, everyone. That moment when life punches, punches you right, right in, in the gut. gut. What'd you work on this time? What do you think I worked on? Did you spit on your gun? No. Uh, flabbergasted, pumpernickel, uh, get busy living, get busy dying, mm. and uh, sassy but classy. <laughs> All right, it's you. It's me, and it's the 16th. 16th. Coming up on Christmas. <laughs> 